Good morning. Grateful to see all of you here this morning. I want to begin by thanking our sign language interpreters, Carmen Sanders and Michael Albert. And let me introduce our crew who's with us today. Um, we're going to begin with Commissioner Anaya, Commissioner Britton, Commissioner Miller, Commissioner Gaynor will be joining us shortly, our Bureau Chief, Soshi Flores, and of course, Rich Minacchio, who's Executive Director of the Housing Authority of Cook County. I think I got everybody. Before I begin my remarks, I want to thank uh, Rich Minacchio and his team at the Housing Authority for their very hard work in making this project possible. And of course, I want to acknowledge my Bureau Chief of Economic Development, Soshi Flores, and her team for working diligently during this time as well. Today, I'm pleased to announce the $20 million Cook County COVID-19 Recovery Mortgage Assistance Program. Funded by the CARES Act, the program pays one to three months of overdue or future mortgage payments for income eligible households. Payments will be made directly to mortgage servicers up to a total of $10,000. As our recovery efforts evolve, we must take stock of the strides we're making to provide essential services to our residents. Two months ago, we launched our $20 million rental assistance program, hoping to help rent renters stay in their homes. After reviewing more than 5,000 applications, I'm pleased to say that we're now in the process of providing more than 3,000 suburban renters with rental assistance. Since March, we've been providing updates regarding the, co the COVID-19 response by the county. Our work is ongoing and critical to supporting individuals, businesses, and communities as they recover and remain resilient. As you know, COVID-19 has exacerbated the inequities black and brown communities face in terms of disinvestment, access to health care, food insecurity, lack of economic opportunity, language barriers, and other forms of inequity. We know that recovery will not happen overnight. We will feel the effects of COVID-19 for years to come. And unfortunately, the pandemic remains far from over. And we know that COVID-19 is taking a tremendous toll on individuals and families. By some estimates, up to 20%, 20% of mortgage paying homeowners nationwide have missed a mortgage payment. That's one out of five households. As Congress seems nowhere near ready to approve continued unemployment benefits, and even though nationally we're facing the highest unemployment rate since the Great Depression in the 1930s, we know that we have tremendous challenges. Based on the statistics I just shared, the need remains critical and urgent. That's why we're partnering with the Housing Authority of Cook County to launch the Cook County COVID-19 Mortgage Assistance Program. This program is part of a series launched under our Community Recovery Initiative, and our Mortgage Assistance Program will provide much needed relief to families in suburban Cook County impacted by COVID-19. We must do whatever it takes to help people stay in their homes and keep their families safe. This plan will offer protection to homeowners and help them to keep making their mortgage payments. And as the pandemic continues, we'll continue to work diligently and do everything we can to help businesses remain operational, create access to critical resources, and provide residents with safe shelter and resources to keep their homes. Now, I'd like to ask the first of our commissioners, Commissioner Anaya, to say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Hi, uh, my name is Alma Naya. I'm the Cook County Commissioner of the 7th Cook County District. I am uh, quite proud to be here today um, supporting this program uh, as the Vice Chair of Economic Development. 
Uh, right after the 2008 uh, economic uh, and housing crash, um, my family uh, lost our home our home that was uh, full of memories, childhood memories uh, and others. And I know the devastation that can cause to working families when they lose their home, they lose their, the place where they're used to going to after school or, or after work. So uh, it's extremely important that we do something about that before we get to the insecurity that will be happening uh, for a lot of our families. It is extremely important that we're being proactive about it. And that's why I thank the Bureau of Economic Development alongside with the Cook County Housing Authority in this initiative to provide $20 million for suburban uh, homes to be able to pay for their mortgage and for them to be able to pay for their necessities. The president just highlighted that one out of five uh, households haven't been able to pay for, you know, their mortgage. But it's what's even more, uh, even more extreme is that one out of three uh, families are having a hard time paying for just basic necessities. So this is where Cook County comes into play, and that's why we're trying to be very proactive in ensuring that our families have the security that they need so that they don't have to go through what my family went through uh, in 2008. Uh, hola, buenas, buenos días. Me llamo Alma Naya. Soy comisionada del séptimo distrito del condado de Cook. Hoy estoy aquí orgullosamente apoyando el programa del condado, uh, donde van a proveer 20 millones de dólares de asistencia para, la, para hipotecas aquí en los suburbios del condado de Cook. En el 2008, yo y mi familia perdimos nuestras, nuestra casa después de uh, la crisis económica que ocurrió. Y es por eso que estoy orgullosa aquí, estoy, uh, que, que, el, um, que el Buró de, de Desarrollo Económico uh, ha hecho este programa para poder ayudar a todas las familias que, eh, que han sido impactadas por COVID y han sido uh, impactadas económicamente. Uh, y estamos tratando de prevenir que esto, lo que le pasó a mi familia, no le pase a más familias en el condado. Gracias. Thank you, Commissioner Naya. Next, I'm going to ask Bridget Gaynor, Commissioner Gaynor, to come and talk about the importance of housing policies. She heads up our land bank and has been working on affordable housing on the, on the uh, for sale side for a number of years. Thank you, President Preckwinkle and all um, those here who are supporting this effort. I think when we think about mortgage assistance, you, it, it is important to think that it keeps people in their home from month to month and it avoids what Commissioner Anaya was talking about in terms of foreclosure. But the other way to think about it is that a home represents a majority of the assets that a family has. And what we know is that black home ownership, you know, the county has a lower home ownership rate than we do nationally, and black home ownership is even lower than that. It's less than 60%. And so when we think about the assets, of a family, their home is the largest asset. And being able to maintain that asset, being able to help someone make the bridge between a very difficult time so we know that they maintain that asset that they can pass on to their children is one of the things that leads to equity. Not just economic equity, but racial and social equity. And so I want to applaud the county right now because it's not enough to say we care about affordable housing. You have to ensure that people have the ability to own their home and maintain that home. Since the land bank's creation, we have sold over a thousand homes for home ownership. And when we started talking about home ownership, the idea was, well, you know, if you're talking about affordable housing, aren't you talking about rental? And you're not. It is often much cheaper to pay a mortgage than it is to pay rent. And we've seen that with rising rents in the last several years. So focusing on naturally occurring affordable housing, focused on local developers in the community, we have been able to make a thousand families in Cook County homeowners, and that number is only increasing. It is well within the uh, ability of us to do it, and I want to applaud the president and the county for making sure that even in this most incredibly difficult economic time, we don't lose any of the gains that people have made for economic stability. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner Gaynor. Commissioner Britton, uh, I understand that you have a a focus on fair housing practices and creating 
supportive housing structures to promote home ownership. And I want to give you a chance to say a few words on that subject. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President and fellow commissioners. Of all the crises that we've seen with COVID-19, one of the most heartbreaking that I have seen in the suburbs has been people worrying about the shelter that they have, the protection of their families, the safety and security of their children, and it is incredibly difficult to watch what these people are going through. There is a pause on foreclosures. It will not last forever. And once those begin, we're going to have a repeat of what happened 10 years ago when people couldn't pay their mortgages and they were unable to navigate the system of our civil justice pro programs and they lost their homes. About a third of them were defaulted, meaning they just lost their homes without even the ability to defend themselves. It is essential that we provide this type of relief and support to our homeowners to make sure that they can stay in their homes and continue to be productive members of our society. Th this entire concept is what I've been trying to work on throughout my 17 years in public service where home ownership and affordable housing has to be an essential priority of this county. I know it is the president's priority, it is mine and the commissioners. We must do better both for rental individuals and homeowners, which is why we have proposed a new rental assistance program for renters in Cook County. If you live in Chicago, you have protections. If you live in suburban Cook County, you do not. And that needs to change. Everything that we have done has been with a view towards the equity piece that the president has made a priority of her administration. This program is an essential part of that. And I want to thank her and my fellow commissioners. And there's a lot of work to do. And we'll continue to work for all those in Cook County who have a right to own their own home and be a part of our life as a county. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Britton. Commissioner Miller represents the South Suburbs, and we've worked closely with her on a variety of initi initiatives to lift up the part of our county that's the most economically challenged. Commissioner Miller? Good morning. Thank you so much, President Pret Winkle. Um, I'm Cook County Commissioner Donna Miller of the 6th District. I want to thank President Pret Winkle for inviting me here this morning and for her leadership during this pandemic to talk about important programs for homeowners. The 6th District does represent 36 different municipalities throughout suburban Cook. This Cook County Community Recovery Initiative that the President and her administration had the foresight to launch right away at the start of this pandemic has been multifaceted effort by the county to assist our business community as well as our residential community, both of which we know have faced great difficulties during this health and economic crisis. As I've mentioned again, the South Suburbs as the district that I represent has been hard hit by the virus, and that's on top of the challenges we've faced for many years in the South Suburbs, including the tax burden that we shoulder, which is disproportionate compared to other parts of the county and puts strain on homeowners. This mortgage assistance program is, I think, a very important part of the overall county recovery initiative and will go a long way in providing meaningful support to our most in need homeowners having trouble making their payments and keep them in their homes, especially as winter approaches. So thank you again, Madam President and Soshi and the Bureau of, Administra of uh, Department of Economic Development and the rest of your administration. And They'll be talking about when the applications are due, and I'd encourage all eligible homeowners to apply right away. Thank you, Commissioner Miller. We're very grateful for our partnership with the Housing Authority of Cook County and their willingness to assist us in the development of this program. Rich Minocchio, want to say a few words? Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Rich Menachia, the director of the Housing Authority of Cook County. Thank you very much, uh, Madam President, for your leadership on this issue. There is nothing more important to us as an agency or really us as a county, if we, as we've heard from uh, our commissioners here today who have uh, really inspired me with the dedication they have and the entire county has to help keep people housed in this county. We serve 19,000 households in uh, our program they're fortunate in this case because the people in our programs are subsidized. So they pay 30% of their income for rent. 
but it's folks who don't have subsidies now who are under the most pressure. As uh, President Preckwinkle mentioned, we have underway a rental assistance program that's going to help about 3,500 renters stay in their apartment and not be foreclosed on. Similarly, this program in Cook County will help families stay in their homes. We've heard how important it is, not just from a human perspective, to have a roof over your head, but from an economic perspective and from a wealth perspective, to keep those gains that, that we've made. Home, owning a home is, in almost all cases, for moderate income folks, the most valuable asset that they have. And we have to preserve that. If we learn one lesson from the last Great Recession, it's imperative that we do everything to possible to keep families in their homes. That's why it's so important to act quickly and early so we don't have the human devastation of folks out of their houses and the economic devastation of vacant and abandoned buildings and leading to the whole rebuilding process it will take to uh, ameliorate that. So thank you very much everybody for your support. I want to thank Rich. Uh, we were together yesterday uh, distributing uh, laptops to young people and the Housing Authority of Cook County to be sure that they can um, be successful as e-learners. And I'm very grateful for his initiative and his uh, ingenuity in put, putting together that program as well. Last but not least, Soshi Flores, uh, who is our Bureau Chief in Economic Development. And I'm very grateful to her and her team for the work that they've done on a variety of our recovery initiatives. Good morning, Soshi Flores, Bureau Chief of Economic Development. I would like to thank our partner again, the Housing Authority of Cook County and our commissioners for joining us this morning to launch our mortgage assistance program. A special thanks to Rich Minacchio and his very dedicated team at the Housing Authority of Cook County for joining us early in this pandemic to look at our response efforts, to assess data, to really understand the needs of the residents that we're trying to serve, and working alongside our team to develop programs that leverage our resources and expertise. We know that not one government entity can do it alone and leveraging one another's resources is key during this time. We appreciate your partnership in helping suburban Cook County's families stay in their homes and collaborating with us creatively develop a program that provides support for homeowners impacted by COVID and may need assistance with their mortgage payments. These are unprecedented times and this requires a strong, coordinated and strategic approach. Our recovery efforts have provided a fertile space for us to grow partnerships and expand our capacity to provide these critical resources to those most adversely impacted by this pandemic. Again, we could not do this alone, and these partnerships are key. Since the inception of COVID in the U.S., the Cook County Bureau of Economic Development has mobilized to address the most critical needs of residents and small businesses in suburban Cook County. We quickly provided emergency funding to suburban homeless shelters as they adapted to the new demands for shelter. We have formed partnerships with several local and national organizations, as well as community lending or agencies to launch the Cook County Community Recovery Initiative that provides rapid relief to both residents and businesses. We know some of the greatest challenges facing our communities continue to be around residents making both rental payments and mortgage payments. The stress of this global pandemic, the job loss, the financial instability is really taking a toll on our families and individuals as they struggle to meet essential needs. Commissioner Naya shared her own personal story, but we see this as we talk to many residents across suburban county. They're struggling with having to figure out how to stretch their dollars. They're struggling to keep food on the table, a roof over their heads, and bills paid. This is the stark reality, the very difficult situation that we find ourselves in, and we need to figure out how to leverage resources to make the greatest impact 
on those needs. The $20 million Cook County COVID Recovery Mortgage Assistance Program will provide up to three months of mortgage payments for homeowners, relieving some of the financial burdens and allowing them to focus instead on their health and the well-being of their families. Applications will open tomorrow, October 9th, and will remain open until October 16th. Information about where to apply can be found on the Cook County website. Given our limited resources, we aim to assist the most vulnerable and adversely impacted by the economic impacts of this pandemic. As a result, we are doing very targeted outreach to communities of color, to residents, families with children, veterans, and persons with disabilities. If you know someone who is struggling, in need of support, please let them know that this assistance is available. You can send them to our website at www.cookcountyil forward slash recovery. Again, cookcountyil.gov forward slash recovery. In the coming weeks, the Cook County Bureau of Economic Development will continue to launch new initiatives to provide additional support to individuals through job training and placement, housing counseling, utility assistance, and cash assistance. These are just continued efforts um, that we know are critical during this time, and we are committed to working in partnership with the private sector, with philanthropy, and other government entities to maximize the, the use of our funds and get these resources out to these communities that need it the most. Rest assured that we are doing everything we can to continue to provide these services, and please inform your neighbors, inform your family members to access these resources and go through our websites. Thank you very much. Thank you, Soshi. All right, Nick. So the question is, if more people apply than there are available funds, what's going to be our priority in terms of assistance? We're going to ask Rich to answer the question. Rich Monacchio. So we are going to prioritize uh, two specific groups. One, the areas that have been hit hardest by COVID, and those are pri primarily uh, black and brown areas. So they will be they will receive 25% of the funding guaranteed. Uh, we're also going to prioritize moderate income homeowners. This program goes up to 140% of median income, but we're going to set aside 25% of these funds for folks that are under 80% of median to make sure that the people who really need it the most get it first. Does that answer your question? Okay. Um, so looking ahead, what happens if by the time the one to three months of both rental and mortgage systems runs out and there's still no more federal stimulus money that can keep helping people get through this time? Um, what can the county do with that situation? Well, the question was, you know, what happens after one to three months when uh, this program uh, exhausts the 20 million and, and if, we, if we don't have another uh, stimulus program? I think we heard President Preckwinkle say very eloquently that we absolutely positively need another federal stimulus program. I mean, there's, there's, a, there's, a, uh, there's a bill out there that was passed by the House that provides $100 billion for rental and home ownership assistance. That's leadership at the federal level. So I think, you know, counties like Cook County, this county is doing so much in terms of home ownership and rental assistance, but we know that uh, more is going to be needed. Well, 
I think it was the same question. What what do we do if uh, it's not enough? If we don't have enough, so I mean, other things that are going to happen, I think that are important are, um, as uh, Director Flores mentioned, we're going to have some significant home ownership counseling being offered. So that you know, that's a big part of this. I mean, how do people uh, maneuver this situation with their lenders? You know, 13 years ago, unfortunately, not a lot of uh, private sector lenders uh, really stepped up right away. So I think we learned a lot from that. And in addition to the assistance that is being provided, we're going to really help people with uh, counseling and in, the, and in the court system, to be perfectly frank, to make sure that they have legal representation so all of their rights aren't uh, trampled on and they, they can stay in their homes. The question was the timeline and uh, for this application. Yes, uh, it's going to be open for one week, from October 9th through October 16th. So the question was, um, how is it going to work mechanically in terms of the servicers getting paid? It's, it's, the answer is it's very similar to the rental program that we put together. The payments are made directly, in that case, to the landlord. So in this case, it's the same concept, where the entity that services the mortgage, a lot of mortgages get sold, as people know, and then you have somebody who administers that mortgage and, and people pay their monthly mortgage payment to them. We will, we're getting all that information as we speak. Uh, I should say we will be getting all that information when the applications come in tomorrow. Uh, and then we will find out, we'll, get, we'll, we'll make the list, do the priorities as I stated, and then we'll get the information from the uh, loan servicers and, uh, and, and make those payments uh, directly to the uh, loan servicers so that it, make, it makes sure that the money goes for its in, intended, uh, where it's intended to. Well, we're obviously going to try to get the, the, the question was, how quickly can we get this out? And my answer is we're going to get it out as quickly as possible. You know, we start going through these applications right away. You have to wait until the, the, the list is closed, of course, until you can do the priority. So my fervent hope is that we can start getting payments out uh, within two weeks after the closing of the list. Okay, so she, do you want to come forward, please? So, who is this, Alex? All right, we got 429 million uh, from the federal government. The question is, uh, how much of it is left? I'll tell you what, why don't you, I'm not sure that we can answer that. We'll get back to you, Alex, on that part of it. Uh, but I'd like you, Soshi, to talk about the breadth of things that the Department of Economic Development has done with CARES Act dollars. So within the $429 million that has been allocated to Cook County, $82 million 
has been um, provided to the Bureau of Economic Development to address both business needs and resident needs. As part of that, approximately 60% of our 82 million is um, being provided to address critical social service needs, housing needs, and needs to residents. So 40 million is provided to the housing rental assistance and mortgage assistance programs combined. Um, but we realize that we, while we have to meet critical um, social service needs, there is a, a strong need to help businesses continue to weather the storm right now and provide them in a path that will lead to, to us rebounding economically. So we have um, a suite of programs that is helping small businesses at this time. We have a grant assistance program that provides $10,000 to small businesses within suburban Cook County, but it marries that with critical technical assistance so that we're not just providing financial resources, but really partnering with those businesses to understand their operations and link them to additional resources that can help them look at their operations and develop a more robust um, program that can assist them through this period. In addition to that, we've partnered with the Workforce Partnership. Again, um, it's critical to leverage one another's resources. So the Workforce Partnership is an entity that provides um, job training assistance and critical um, employment resources to individuals throughout the city of Chicago and Cook County. We're providing additional funding to increase their capacity during this time to serve those that are currently unemployed and train them and prepare them to, for new opportunities. And um, in addition to that, we're also strengthening our manufacturing sector right now because we realize that our manufacturing sector is a key um, sector within Cook County. We want to ensure that those um, well-paying jobs stay in Cook County. So we are developing a partnership and have developed a robust partnership with the Illinois Manufacturing Excellence Center that is helping us target those manufacturers and, and evaluate what the needs of manufacturers are during this time. We anticipate that our mortgage assistance program will um, be able to assist between 2,500 to 3,000 individuals. Um, we are maximizing the assistance to 10,000 per individual, but um, we anticipate that the average will be somewhere around 7,800 per individual. Well, um, the rental assistance program that we launched in coordination with the Housing Authority of Cook County uh, provided critical needs to tenants to provide their, their, to make their rental payments. So we are coordinating across um, many fronts, coordinating with partners to look at both rental assistance that's needed and mortgage assistance that's needed. Anything else, Rich? The only thing I would add to that uh, Soshi's answer is that, you know, th this is huge for landlords, too, because it's helping to make them whole at a time where everybody's stretched thin, right? And, you know, we understand that landlords have to make their mortgage payments. And really, the smaller landlords are a very critical part of affordable housing. And th this program is really a lifeline for them, too, because we keep... Uh, there, we, we, we help make them whole. They can, they can keep their assets, and the people that they serve, being the tenants, can stay in the house. So it, it really helps everybody involved in the housing market. Expecting 
Thank you very much, Alex, but you have to wait till next week. Nothing, no indication of what your general broadcast No, you got to wait for the speech, Alex. Yeah, fair enough. Thank you. All right, any other questions? All right, thank you all. All right, thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner.